Hi guys, Cell Phone Hospital team here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the Google account lock on this Nexus 5X. It should also work on your Huawei Nexus 6P or your Google Pixel. I'm currently on 7.0. It should also work for the 7.1, so just watch carefully and follow the steps as I do, and we'll get through this. So first things first is we're going to go here and we're going to get started. We're going to hit skip there. Setup is new. Let us search for our Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and go ahead and connect to it. Once connected, it will check your uh, network connection, any software updates that the phone needs. So again, guys, the uh, reason why we do this is just to, you know, in case you buy the device secondhand or if, um, you know, you forget your Google login information. The device was set to continue to with the Google account that was previously synced on the device. Okay, hit next. Let's go ahead and hit back. What we're going to do is go ahead and turn on accessibility talk back on. So we'll go to vision settings and we'll go to talk back. We'll turn on TalkBack. Hit OK. TalkBack on. TalkBack is a screen reader we'll primarily back. for people. Accessibility tutorial. TalkBack tutorial. Back button. Double tap to activate. Double tap and hold to long press. TalkBack. So from here we're going to do hand gesture on the screen. Uh, what you do is just, uh, you start from here, go down and over to the right. You do it fairly quick. Alert global just like context that. menu. Now we're going to go text to speech settings. 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 So after that, we're going to suspend her for just a second. The way we do that is we do the volume up and the volume down at the same time. We'll hold those two together. Alert suspend talk back. Are you okay? Button. So go ahead and hit OK. Talk back suspended. Double tap to activate. From here, we can slide over this way from the left side of the phone, from the edge. And if we go down towards about phone, and you will need to do this, about phone. And if you're on 7.1, 7.0, it'll work. The Android security patch level I'm on is October 5, 2016. So let's slide it over one more time. Now this time, let's go to security. <clears throat> let's go over here to it says unknown sources. Let's turn that on. Let's swipe back over over here. Now this time we are going to launch Google Chrome. So the way we do that is we're going to go to apps. Now what we're going to do is go into YouTube. So locate YouTube. Once you locate YouTube, go ahead and click on it. Now go to data usage. Go into app settings. Go to about. Next, you're going to go to Google Privacy Policy. Launches Google Chrome. No thanks. Now, up here on the web browser, you are going to search this website. It is Root Junkie. SDL.com. Just like that. Hit enter. And from here, we're going to download a few things on here. So just bear with me. Once you get that loaded up, we're going to scroll down a little bit, look for apps, go ahead and click on apps. Next thing you're going to click on is FRP. This is that first file folder, is the Android 7.0. Go ahead and click there. Now we'll start from the bottom. We'll download that first one right there. Update permissions, allow. We'll hit okay. Let's not open it yet. Let's download the sidebar right here. Let's hit okay. Now whether depending if you're on the 7.0 or 7.1, you can download whichever one 
matches your uh, Android software. So mine is a 7.0 like I showed you earlier. I'm going to hit OK. Let that download. Next thing we download is that Google Commander 6. That one we do need it. Next thing we can download is that Dirty Cow zip folder. Up next is that FRP. Wait for it to catch up a little bit. And this last one is that launcher. And that one we will go ahead and need to open, install and open, and run it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. After it prompts us if we want to go ahead and open it, we'll go ahead and open it. Go ahead and hit open. Install. And this launcher will look just like the launcher that the that Google offers on the Nexus. And once it's all to go ahead and open. Now from here you can make phone calls and all that good stuff. But we want to get fully past that, uh, that Google account. So next thing we're going to do is go into the menu apps. Right there we're going to go to downloads. And we are going to scroll down and look for that one right there. Click it. Go to install. Go ahead and open. And as you can see, slide in from the edge to activate sidebar. So let's hit OK and let's go ahead and activate it. So slide over like that. Hit that plus sign. Hit Apex Launcher. That way in case we lose our place or we have to restart the phone. When we do have to restart the phone, we can just swipe over, hit that little home, Apex Launcher, and it'll bring us back here where we need to be. So there we go. Let's hit Dismiss. After that, we're going to go ahead and... This one, that com.rujunkie, FRP bypass. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. Let's hit done. Don't hit open. Let's scroll down to Termux. Let's go ahead and install that. And that one will need to open and update a few things on here. So I hit OK. And just watch closely is what I'm about to type. So first thing we're going to type is APT update. Just like that. Now we're going to hit enter. We'll get that pop, uh, popped up. Now the next thing we're going to do is apt install. We're going to put in core utils, Debian utils. Just like that. Now we're going to hit enter. We'll get that up. Now we're just going to hit back. Now what we're going to do is go to Google Account Manager 6. Hold it. Let's go to that share feature. We'll share it over to Termex. Let's hit open folder. You'll see that come up. Go ahead and hit back. Now let's go to the Dirty Cow Zip folder. Click there, you'll see that dirty cow. Hold it, share it to Termux. We're gonna hit open folder. Next thing we're gonna do is type this in, ls enter, we're just gonna verify a few things working. After we do that, we're gonna hit ch mod seven, no, I'm sorry, space seven 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 space star. Just like that. Now we're going to hit enter. And then again, ls enter. And you'll see that come up. Now you'll do this one next is 
period forward slash dirty cow. You'll get that right there, and that's exactly what you need to get. Now, this next one is very important. So this is where all the downgrades are going to happen, and we're able to get that FRP bypass on there. So just watch carefully. This next one is crucial. So period forward slash. Sorry. Dirty cow. Space forward slash system forward slash priv hyphen app forward slash no space so just forward slash like that and then this the G is capital letter Google Login, the L's capital letter. Service, S is capital letter. Just like that. And we're going to do forward slash again. Same thing, Google. Login service. Dot APK. Space. Google Account Manager 6 dot APK. You should get that right there. So right there we see Dirty Cow, System, Priv App, Google Login Service, capital letter on the G, L, S, forward slash Google Login Service. Again, dot APK space, Google Account Manager 6 dot APK. You'll get that right there. This is exploit patch. Now we're gonna hit back, back again. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install Google Account Manager 7. Press it, install. Now we're gonna hit done. Now we're gonna go back. And we're gonna go into the, oh, sorry, phone settings. Now we're gonna go to apps, up here, three dots, show system. Scroll down to where you see Google Account Manager. Right there, right there we're gonna disable that. Disable app, hit okay. Now we're gonna enable it again. And we should get that right there, that. Just like that, it should look just like that. So now we're gonna go back. Back again. I put us back in YouTube, so we're gonna simply slide over to the side like that and hit that home, Apex Launcher, will take us back to where we need to be. Go back to that, now we're gonna go to Downloads. Now we're gonna install Google Account Manager 6. Install that. The package appears to be corrupt. Hit done. Now what we're gonna do here is just a simple reboot on the phone. So power it off. Give it just a second. We'll get it back powered up. So just power off and restart. I know there's a bunch of steps to it, but at the end, like I said, it'll be worth it. I mean, you'll be able to get back into the phone, no problem. Talk back suspended. Talk back resumed. Exit button. Let's go ahead and turn her off again. Just hold that volume up and down at the same time. Let's slide back over this way. Let's go back to that Apex launcher. Now that we're back in here, let's go back again into, let's go into downloads again. And let's go back to Google Ma Account Manager 6 and let's go ahead and try to reinstall that again. So 
So now that it's installed, as you can see that, Now after we install that right there, now we're gonna go back out of here. Now we're gonna look for FRP bypass. Click there. That's where the fun happens. Right here, the three dots, browser sign in. Hit okay. Now log in with whatever Google account you want. Just so we'll log into mine. So you'll get that message. Once you log in, you'll get that. So hit close app. Now what we're gonna do is go back and upgrade the version back to 7.0. That when we do a reboot, you have no issues. Now we're gonna go back over here, hit on Google Account Manager 7, install. And that'll put us back where we need to be at. Hit done. Now just do a simple reboot, power off. Almost done here. Said so it is a pretty long video, and you know it does get a little bit of uh, you know hectic. Uh, you know, just follow the steps like you're supposed to, and you'll get it. So once it comes back up, you should have no issues. Um, you know, walk it through the steps, and it should say account added should be good to go so this gets popped up just in time show you guys that it looks a little different now let's hit exit out of that we should have just went ahead and suspended her so let's go ahead and do that again get started skip setup is new check your network again and it should say account added give it a few minutes so now it says account added. Boom, there you have it. Just walk it through the steps. Once you're in the phone, you can just do an internal reset. You should be good to go. Take a little bit a little bit, but I just want to show you guys that you're able to get it back into the phone. <clears throat> Don't forget to go ahead and, and like and subscribe to the channel and uh, comment if you have any issues or if there's another phone that you need help with, uh, be able to bypass it so we can go ahead and definitely help you out with that. So there's that, let's set up later. And let's take that Google Now launcher just once. Don't update, because that'll just, uh, you know, that'll put you on the newest one, which there's, you can't do yet. From here, you can go ahead and uh, do an internal reset on the phone, and then you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.